Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and it's day two of Cyber Week here with Tonic in 2023 and this is the Making Memories with Friends die set and there are 53 dies here which make a beautiful memory book. In fact you can make three different sizes of memory books here and if you've never made a memory book before and you don't have any other die sets that do that, this one actually includes the base, the decoration, the spine, so you can actually make a spine with a little folded spine here or you can use this to make a thread up spine that you can use ribbon or twine in to hold the pages together. So it's a really good place to start. But there's also lots of dies in here that you could use for other things as well as memory books. Just look at that beautiful big die there. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see that one doesn't even have an outside cutting edge on it. So you can use that just laid into a page and you can make a beautiful card with that pattern cut into it. It would almost look like something that was laser cut. It would be absolutely beautiful. Anyhow, this is the largest page size here and you can see this one doesn't have a cutting edge here. So you can use that to um, extend the sides and do whatever to make the spine with that. So we've got this one, this one, this one and this one all the same. And then all the rest of these are decorative panels. But of course you can cut this and cut that part off and use that for a decorative panel as well. There are sentiment dies in here as well and this one says um, making memories and then we've got with friends on our journey together with you and with family. So lots of nice things that you can put in there as well. We've got beautiful flowers here and foliage and little scrolly bits and pieces and I think the lovely little extra in this one this time is this, uh, this die with this little inset piece here that you can fold up to make a beautiful little frame which makes a beautiful addition to the memory book. You can use it on the cover or you can use it on the inside but you could also use that separately as well. And then this beautiful panel here as well. So this is actually a series of dies that you can use cut out and add as a little extra pocket or a little gatefold part and there's a smaller one there as well. Anyhow I'm going to use that along with this beautiful little die set here so I'll let you see that closer as well and a stamp set. So if you haven't already subscribed now might be a good time because there's lots of really beautiful launches this week and I don't think you'll want to miss any of them. They're really really lovely and then you'll be able to look back but you won't miss any more videos that come up if you subscribe now and hit that notification bell. And if you do enjoy it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below. This is the little With Love stamp and die set that I'm going to use along with this and these make beautiful little tags and bits and pieces that you could use in your memory book but again for other things as well. But there's beautiful little layering hearts, plain one there and a scalloped one. So there are 27 dies and 13 stamps and they make uh, little stamps for Mother's Day, You're the Best, Valentine's Day, whatever. But you can certainly, there's one there that says I love you and that's a debossing little uh, die. And you could use these for all sorts of things as well because you don't have to put this little sentiment part in the middle. I've used them, I've already had a little look at this and they make these beautiful little pieces as well. So you could add your own little sentiment or you could add some of the flowers or foliage or just whatever. Even a little photograph would be lovely on that. This is a beautiful new paper pad released by Tonic as well for Cyber Week and I'm going to use this with my die set to make that memory book. It is really, really beautiful. It's called Dusky Rose and you can see these beautiful vintagey, cottagey kind of flowers here. And there are 18 sheets of 200 GSM. So there are two each of nine double-sided designs. And as you can see, it's 12 by 12, but it's beautiful ivories, pinks and greens, and they work beautifully together. You can make gorgeous backgrounds with them, or as you can see here, there's lots of scope there for die cutting it and fussy cutting as well. So you'll see more of that as I go through it. I'm going to pick out some beautiful card that goes along with that and I'll be right back. Having had a closer look at the die set, I have just so many ideas with this. I will be making two videos. So this is the first one and in this video I'm going to make the biggest size of the memory book and I'm going to make it with a spine. And then you can come back and see a smaller size of memory book not the smallest one, but one that's sort of in between. And I make that with the uh, ribbon holes down the side of it and bind that together with, uh, I'm not sure, but possibly ribbon or twine. 
and maybe a couple of other things as well but in this video you'll see the one with the spine so don't forget to come back I'll put a link down below to the other one as well. Well I've gone ahead and I have done quite a bit of die cutting and I've lots of things already in the box there and I will have lots more to do but that's all part of the fun of it. I've got other videos that you can have a look at and I'll pop the name down below and you can see different ways of attaching these and different ways of using spines and whatnot but this is the little spine die that's in this set and you can see there these little uh, areas where there's no metal are actually little raised areas whenever you cut the die out they're not that obvious maybe on the camera there but uh, I can see them and hopefully you will when you cut this out and those are the areas that you want mountain folds on because that is the two parts that will get glued together so I'm going to burnish that first of all so right in there between those two on the back there those two are the ones that are going to get made into mountain folds and then everything else gets folded backwards so I'm going to do that first of all and then we'll move on so I'll fold these back into the valley folds as well just to show you and then I'll hold them together with some pegs but the two pieces with the marks on as I say are the mountain folds. So what you're going to end up with is this shape here and the glue will go in between there. Now I usually put some pegs on that just to hold it and then I can move on to something else but um, in the meantime I've already gone ahead and got two because this will give you two pages as you can see there are two areas there to add pages onto but I want four in my memory book so I have already made another one. And when that's dried that will look like this and this piece then is the spine that you add the pages to but because I want four pages I'm going to add two of these together. So now to join that together I only need to put glue down one side here and overlap the two of those and that gives me an area for four pages. So you can see there that flat area just goes straight over the other flat area and now you've got one two three and four pages that can be attached to that. I'm going to start off with the bigger, actually the biggest pages and the biggest cover here. So I've taken this large die and you can see it has no cutting edge on here. And I've laid that on top of an A4 sheet of 300 GSM card and I've cut it and then I've just nipped these pieces off. So this is still attached here and I've done that as well for the back cover. So this will be the front and back covers. And what I need to do now then is just continue this line straight out to the edge here and here and here and here. Now, if you look carefully, you'll be able to see a little line down there that has been made by the the uh, the die. It's been made by this part, and I just want to put that into my trimmer, my scoring board, whatever you have, and line up the bottom of it with the top there, and just score right along there. Remember, it, you're scoring it, not cutting it. And do exactly the same thing on the other one. So you line the top up, the bottom up. Just make sure you've got it straight. And there you are. Now, that will be your front and back covers. And you can go ahead now and add this little spine in here. So the, the back of that will be nice and flat now that that's dried. And you'll be able to just go ahead with some glue and glue it in there. videos you'll have seen where I have actually just attached these pieces together, trimmed them off and attached them together and then popped the spine in. But this time what I've done is right down the edge of where that spine finishes I have scored that and folded it up and then I have scored another line there at half a centimetre and I'm just going to cut this right off up that line. And this time I'm going to go ahead then and trim this one off here. So this little half centimetre piece that I've left here, you can actually make that a bit longer if you want. You don't need to worry because it's going to be covered eventually anyway. 
but I folded it up like this and I'm going to put glue right down there and then that will in turn get glued onto this part here and that will become your, your front and back covers and the spine all in one and then all we've got to do is make all the pages. That's the bones of the book then really and I've gone ahead and covered the little spine area here and um, that's it almost ready to start but we need the pages so I've used the exact same die as I've used for this as well to cut the pages and because I've got four areas here I need to cut eight of this again. So right where the little edge piece was here and you could see the, the debossed area just where that flat part of the die was I have cut this off just inside that, just inside and no more. And you'll be able to know exactly where that is if you hold this up here and you'll see it's just a slight little, just a sliver shorter than this. So because there are the four, as I said, you need eight. And that is because we're going to put one on here on each side of each of these little areas and then cover that with another one on the other side, just like that. Now they're going to get sandwiched together, they're going to get glued to each one of these but if you want to have these as pockets themselves you can certainly go ahead at this stage and just remember when you're gluing them together to leave either the top or the side open but I have my little book here ready, I'm just checking which is the front and the back because uh, where this little join was I'm going to keep that to the back and keep the smooth fold to the front so this is going to be my front here. So let's just start and glue along this part here. So now when that's attached there, we're going to put the second one on here. And because I'm not going to make these into any pockets at all, I'm just having them double sided. I can go ahead and add the glue the whole way around. But just remember, wherever your top is, you can leave that open as a pocket or the side open. And this is the, the part, the stage where you would just leave that area open before you glue your, your next page on. Now, when you come to put this one in, make sure that you align it right there. It's most important to get it aligned at the top and then the bottom will fit in properly. But this is the area that you're going to notice more. So if you've got a slight little sliver of it out of kilter, that's where you're going to notice it. And then you can just hold all of that together and move on to the next page and then do all of these pages exactly the same way as we've done that one. That's the four pages all in now and you can probably see there I've already lined the back and I've put a little sliver of green just down in here and this is sea salt green because I thought it worked really really well with this and then I've cut exactly the same die as I used for the cover and trimmed it just to fit here and I want a little gap between the little sliver here and the fold because obviously it needs to fold over. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. And then that's my book ready to roll. And now all the fun can start because I can just start coordinating paper and starting everything out. And starting to make lovely pages inside there. Well, this is quite a while later. And I have prepared lots of pages. I have covered the insides. So I've taken the die that's just one size in from the, the outer edge of the uh, book front there. And that is this one. And I've cut that out in beautiful floral paper here. And just before I glued that one on, as you can see from the back cover, I have put some um, white ribbon on here. And I've just glued it with uh, a little bit of on there so that it's strong it's not right out at the edge and then I can go ahead and cover this one as well so I've got a panel cut out for, for this part and I'm just going to glue that directly on top that will be my closure for this one because I really love a ribbon tie and I think it goes really well with the sort of vintage appeal of the uh, papers here these are really lovely papers so I'll, maybe I'll talk a little bit about the papers in a second or two when I show you the inside of this um, actually you can let me know what kind of thing you, you would like me to tell you all about uh, when we're making memory books in future but anyhow I had this beautiful sea salt green as you saw before 
on the inside covers on the back and front and on this one I've put green uh, floral paper over it on this one I'm just leaving it like this but you can see on every other page here that I have already gone ahead and put some floral paper on now I have actually gone ahead a little bit further here and added this piece in but I'll tell you more about that later and I added a little strip of uh, glitter card in here these two I just put in because I liked them at the beginning and the end but this one I actually put in because I had got a little bit of glue on that and it looked messy and I thought hmm I was actually just about to take the spine apart again and put a new one in and then I remembered that someone had asked me before was there any way of fixing that and I detailed and showed them how to do this and I thought well I'll just leave it in the video this time because I'm quite sure a lot of people do that sometimes just let a bit of glue come out of here and when it's on there it does look a bit messy between the pages all you need to do is put a little sliver of card of a corresponding colour in make sure it's not so broad that the pages can't still fold up and uh, cut it to top and bottom and it just looks like an extra little part in there so there we are and we're ready to roll I think I'll just run you through my thought processes for the way I've picked the paper for this the card to match in with this paper so let's have a little look at the colors that are on here now those are absolutely beautiful and as I said I really love florals and I really love that sort of cottagey vintagey feel and certainly if you want to go ahead and just keep to that I think that the ivory works really well now you might totally disagree with this but I'm just running you through how I feel about colour uh, the ivory is in keeping with that sort of plain pastel more muted kind of feel to it but I certainly will be using that in future projects and things when I want that muted feel but for this memory book I want to bring a bit of life into that and give a little pop a little bit of bling so to speak in sort of small areas of it and I think that the white looked better for that it sort of made it stand out a bit more and you can see the difference there in the white and what the ivory would look like with it two beautiful looks but just totally different and I really like that ivory that white with it on this uh, this book so I've gone into my paper stash and all my card piles and things and I've picked out colors that I think work with this and things that I think will give it a little bit of a zing so I'm just going to set this aside for a minute or two and show you and I have picked out this is princess pink pearlescent card now I might not necessarily use all of these through this but I've picked them out because I know that they actually work really really well with the colors through this and I just wanted to share them with you so we've got rose platinum high gloss as well there I'm just moving these over the avocado green goes really really well with it but I don't think I'll use very much of it because it uh, it tends to, well, I'll show you it with one of the floral pages, it actually looks uh, better. It does match in really, really well there, but it doesn't give that sort of, uh, sort of shiny vibe that I'm looking to go along with this because there's quite a lot of flat detail there. So we've got Baroque Rose and Spring Silver in the uh, Satin Effect Mirror card. And pink frosting which I thought was absolutely beautiful with the pinks and whatnot in there and I've picked that out in the glitter card as well hopefully you'll see all this come together and I think it works really really well so once I got those ready then the next thing was to go ahead and cut out lots and lots of pieces for in here now sometimes I decorate the front but because there's the most beautiful die that makes a lovely little frame for this I'll show you it here I'm going to put that on the front and I don't want to have all that dimension on while I'm working at the rest of the book so I have gone ahead and cut lots and lots of things for here first of all I have taken two dies together and they are the two sizes below this and I've skipped one and I have cut a frame out just by laying those two dies together so that's these two and I taped those together evenly spaced the whole way around and ran them through the die cutting machine with the pink frosting and got myself this really beautiful frame and then I cut the bigger one again in some vellum vellum's really lovely with that because you can see if you look at the petals and the flowers here it sort of reflects that kind of vellumy look and I thought that looked really well with it as well so what I want to do then is just go ahead and glue this from here right round to here and leave this top part open 
put something in at the top. Now I've gone with two of the little hearts from this set here. So I've cut the outer one with the little loop on it in the spring silver mirror card. So that's iridescent mirror card. It's really, really beautiful with this. And then the inner one with the patterned paper. And I just centered that over a little flower. And I've cut the little uh, loop off the two. And I'm actually just cutting it off the second one here because I wanted to show you how I would do that. And just follow the curve of that into the center and nip that right off. And then I'm going to glue those up here just at the top of that. And then I have used the same die that I cut this aperture out with. And I cut that out in white and used the little tab die, which is this one, folded over and just glued it at the top there. That then fits down inside here, can be used for whatever you're going to put on, a photo mat or whatever. And that way, when you see the ribbon from the top of it there, you'll know that this is open because otherwise you would think that was just a mat on the, on the front of the page as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and glue uh, these two on like this. Another thing I normally do is I go ahead and uh, first of all I decorate the pages with the, the sort of basic paper or whatever I'm putting on first of all. Then I come back and put pockets and tabs and things on and then at the end I usually come back with all my little embe embellishments when I see what it looks like and what the little extra details are needed on there. For the next page here then I have taken this little die with the flat piece at the side and I've cut that out three times in white. Once I've trimmed the edge piece off, the little flat piece, but I've, I've actually cut it right down on the outside of that on the other two and then I have cut two of the sea salt green. I've actually gone ahead and decorated that with some um, mirror card here, the satin effect mirror card in a smaller die cut and then some fussy cut paper from the paper pad on there as well. But I just want to show you how I have gone ahead and glued these together. So when I've cut one out with the flap on, this is the top side of it here and the top side of this one and they're both facing the same way with the tab folded so that it uh, folds inwards. And then I've taken my green sea salt one and I have glued that onto the back of the, these, but th this is the top side showing here and it is folded over into that one. So they will then fold like accordion style like this. And you can see that I have already gone ahead on the back of this one, the very back here. I have put a little magnet on right in there and then on the front here I've put the magnet to match that one so the whole thing will close together like that and then just where that little magnet is I've put some ribbon on as well because that way when I glue this together because this is actually going to get glued on here now I actually have left that tab on it doesn't really matter whether it's on or not because I had thought of putting another piece on here but now I'm going to leave that so uh, Really, the tab could come off or stay on. It doesn't really matter. This is the way this is going to open out. So I'll move it over so you can see it. There's the page and it will fold up like that. And you can hear where that little magnet is going to close up. But I've got my other two pieces to put on here. So you can see here when I open that out, you're going to see the back of that one. So I'm, I've cut this and cut the tab right off. And that's going to get glued on top of that to cover that. And then where this part is here, I'm going to go ahead and glue the other part over Oops, <laughs> over that as well and tidy all of that up. Then I can glue this on here, either with the tab on or off because that really doesn't matter. But because that little um, magnet is on there, I think I'll maybe just leave it on and it'll give that little bit of height. over to the next page then I have taken the same die as I cut the page out with I've trimmed this part off right down here and then I've cut it diagonally right down the center from this point to this point and that has given me two of this piece these pieces here exactly the same and then I've cut the smaller one again as I've done here and I've cut it right down there as well right diagonally from point to point 
and then I've taken a strip of the glitter card and just put it right along the edge because when you make a pocket you like to have that um, edge strengthened and all I'm going to do now is put glue right around these edges and leave that one open and that then forms a pocket that I can put things in sort of in that side there and I'll just show you that with a little die if I have one here yep. next page here I have taken these dies and this is actually really really nice I've cut that out twice in white and then I've taken this die and cut that out in the patterned paper you can see here and then I've taken these two together in the glitter card and that has given me this beautiful pattern here and I'm putting that straight on top of the patterned paper like that and I'll show you how I've attached these both together but I think that looks really really beautiful it just makes the piece pop and it also ties in with a little bit of the uh, pink frosting glitter card on the opposite page as well I have lined those on the inside and I've actually just taken the same die that I cut the front out with and trimmed this area off and I've lined them with the patterned paper on both sides and then I've taken a strip of white card which measures 11 and a half centimetres this way by six this way and I have glued the little glue tabs onto that so that they overlap like that. Now you could make that wider and further apart and, and uh, have them both sort of just meeting like a gatefold like that if it was flat but I thought I would really like them just to overlap. So I have taken the little dies that go, this one's really really beautiful in the uh, iridescent mirror card on there. I put one there and one there on the both sides and then I've taken the little tab that I used before to make the tab for this little page here and I have cut that out in uh, the same iridescent mirror card as this little die and I've just popped it on over the front there and then that can get um, threaded together with some ribbon but I'm going to leave that until the end now I've also taken a smaller one of these dies and I'm going to glue that onto here and then glue the back of that onto the page there and then this will fold over and isn't that really really pretty? Now for the next one I have taken the same outside die here and I've cut that in half across the way and I've decorated it with the smaller die with the paper on it there again and I have fussy cut two big flowers from the paper and you can probably see there there's a bit of a shine off them because I have used this which is my glitter gloss pen and I have put some glitter gloss on the flower on the paper and then these two raised ones which are on 3d foam pads there if you can see it and then these little decorative details on there as well and the glitter strip across here which strengthens the pocket and I just need to put glue right around this edge and then I've got my pocket here. On the page opposite that then I have taken the, the piece of pink frosting card that I cut out from here. So it's actually what would generally be called the waist from this one. And I have glued that onto here. And again, this all ties together. And I've got a gorgeous little frame to go on here. Now this is one of the really lovely new details that is uh, in this die set. We've got this die here. In fact, there's one inside it as well, which you could use to deboss a beautiful pattern along here. But I have used this one to make this frame. Now you'll be able to see here where this is marked. Um, we've got one, two, three, it's this way yes <laughs> so we've got two three and four <laughs> and you can cut that off if you're going to make a, a, a square uh, frame which is smaller than the full size here you just cut each one of them off to the corresponding size there so I've already made this one but I'm going to show you how to make it in white here but bear in mind that this one is cut down I've cut uh, one each of these ones off at uh, three and a half so you'll see the measurements on the back there 
but I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there and then um, the idea is that you would put a photograph just inside there and it's really really lovely. This frame's really really easy to make so I'm just going to make it in white to show you here and uh, I have cut out four of these pieces here and I have folded every one of the folds gets uh, sort of folded around the same way and you can see there then you're going to be able to just fold them right into each other like that. So you'll take this shortest side here and put glue right down that one and you'll do the same thing for the other three as well. So fold that right in there and just hold that until the glue grabs. Now, normally I would just hold that with a little peg in there and there and it Give it a second or two until the glue has grabbed the whole way up. You can actually just set it down like that and give it a little squeeze to make sure the glue's attached the whole way down. But um, let's see, just that end there I'll hold with the tweezers just for a second or two. And I've got all these other pieces ready to go together anyhow. So this part here that has the sort of square edge on it and this flap are the two pieces that get the glue. So you're going to put glue on the inside of that one and the top side of this one and then we'll go to the opposite edge of this one so these edges will all be facing to the other side and you can go ahead now and put that one slide it in there and put that one in just inside there so the glue is on the top side of that and it's on the back side of the other and if you want you could even put a tiny just a tiny dot on there as well and pop that together and just hold that and that gives you a beautiful little mitre on there and all you have to do now is replicate that the whole way around so again just glue in there on the top there and if you want a tiny drop on there and just pop that in there with that inside and hold it together. Going over to the next page then you can see why I have gone ahead and Put this in already because before I attached this part I had cut one of these out in white and I scored it right down the fold line is right down between the two there and I slid that in behind first and glued this over the top so that you can't see where the join is there so I covered that white one with a smaller panel and then I took these two dies together and I taped those together and cut them out with the pink frosting and that gave that lovely little frame on there and now this opens up to have some beautiful patterned paper in here which was cut with the exact same die that I used for the white and I just trimmed it off there slightly inside the line this time so that there's enough room for it closing back and forwards. On the page beside that then I've got the same little bottom pocket and I've put the spring silver uh, iridescent mirror card strip across the top of that and it sort of not only strengthens the top but it gives you a little bit of definition going between the two pieces there because uh, one paper and the other then it just sort of blends in but that makes that stand out and you know exactly where your pocket is as well as reinforcing it and making it that bit stronger as well. So just go ahead and make sure you have all the glue attached the whole way around because this is getting really really solid and thick now and uh, that's just the way you want it. It's a very very professional finish at the end. Now I've also taken the same, the other half of the one that I used before to give a pocket on here and I've trimmed that with the uh, mirror, the glitter card as well and I'm just going to put that little pocket on the other side here. You can see there I've got pegs in that because pegs are really really handy and when the card gets that thick because there are several layers on there um, it's quite difficult at times just to be able to hold it so the pegs are fantastic for that. Now you know the little pocket that I made at the front that closed over with a little gatefold on it? 
I've used one of these this time and I've put the spring silver down there again and I have it's actually water sprite I think that one is I'll check that uh, and I've made a little pocket to go on here and I'm just going to glue that around here and I've added a little bow in there and I've already glued that little bow because I don't want that coming out but this little pocket looks really nice as well. Now when I've got it all to that stage, I can have a look through everything and see where I need all the different embellishments and I can go ahead and cut lots of little flowers and flourishes and things on and then come back and I'll show you what those look like when I've got them all glued in place. Well, I have really enjoyed that and I'm back to show you what all I've done, but I'm leaving the front cover again until the last. But let's just have a look. So I've added these on. I'm not sure if I had those on when I showed you the last time, but this is my tag with a little uh, fussy cut set of flowers on there. And then I'll just lift that one out, the vellum on there. And then here, when you open this one, I've put a few little bits and pieces along here and here and here and here. So that's a fussy cut flower there and then some of this. So I've just uh, used a mixture of all the different cards that I showed you at the beginning and they work really, really well with these colours. Next page then, I've added lots of flowers here, a little fussy cut one there and foliage and some dream drops. Uh, let's just let's see what name they are. Those are fairy wings, but um, there's quite a few different dream drops or crystal drops that you could add on there and then tag here and then I've taken one of these I've actually done this in quite a few of them the, the little uh, dies that I showed you earlier uh, from this set and I've layered them up I've just mixed and matched the scalloped and the plain hearts there with fussy cut leaves on top and then in this one I think I had this mostly done I just open that up I really love this page. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I think I've just added the little flowers in there from the last time I showed you. And then you can thread that one through yet again. And on this one, I've got some more bits and pieces added on here. And the little tag there is double-sided uh, with fussy cut flowers in the front of the glitter card. And then on this one, I've added some foliage. And it looks like it's embossed, but it's actually just foliage added on top. And then a little fussy cut flower up there. And you will just set your photograph inside there on this page then yes this one was open i think when i spoke to you last <laughs> so i will explain what i've done here i've taken the little die that, put, that has the two holes in it and i have just glued one on there but first of all i actually to start off with i glued it on here then I punched two holes right through where it was. That's, that's the first one. You have to make sure you do the top one first. So I glued that on and punched two holes through. And then I backed that with another set here. And then I put thread through that so I just know exactly where this was going. And set this one right through so that I knew that that one corresponded with this one. This is the most important one to place first. And then on this one here I actually just put a loop of, of thread. Uh, threaded it through the two holes and glued it at the back so that it's one length of ribbon there and then that will just come up through here um, I think I maybe need to cut the holes a little bit bigger or whatever but it comes through there and then you tie a lovely little bow in that and that's a, a lovely way of keeping that closed but it looks really beautiful as well and then I've added one of the dies from the set so that's just with you on the top there again here more foliage across there and a little tag with the other way around of the hearts there and I've glued that on and the little uh, sort of piece that comes up at the top here so that's this little area I've just left that up at the top and that means then you can put your little ribbon for your tag through that and then on this one another little tag with the circle on and with friends and some flowers and foliage through there and then on the back one here again similar sort of thing I've just put together on there and then some flowers and that looks lovely and the whole thing just works so well together so now I'm going to come to the front panel now you can see there that I have put two different card um, two, two different satin effect cards on there and I really really love that I think it's beautiful and I know uh, this is really beautiful too but 
some of you will say why did I not fussy cut that and why did I waste that but I actually want this whole thing to be really solid have a lot of depth in it and feel really professional so I you could actually die cut a piece out if you really wanted to save your paper I'm keeping it on because I really want that extra weight and extra strength on there too so now I am going to glue this on really really well and then I'm going to add my little frame and I'll show you this time how I've made that little frame just a bit different because I have used the little debossing area in the front of it. So that will go on there, bearing in mind that I've already got my ribbon closure attached there. That's going on there. And then the little frame that I have used on the inside. So that's exactly the same as this one, except I kept that one plain, but I cut this one to three and a half as well. And you can just see there the, the markings on it. So I've cut this off right up to that point where three and a half is. And, <clears throat> pardon me. And then this time, instead of leaving it plain, I've actually used the little debossing pattern in it as well. So you can see that I have just put that in and then I have taped it together top and bottom. And it's very important to tape the top and the bottom and not just the centre because then that keeps it even while it's going through the machine. I've done that four times. And I'm putting it on there. Now I know in the instructions it says that you would actually put this onto a plain piece of card or whatever, cut it out the same size as the back and then glue it down. Um, that's nice but I really really love this pattern so much that I didn't want to cover that. So I'm going to glue that on and just bear in mind that it will take a little while for this to attach because I'm putting satin effect card on top of other satin effect card. So it will sort of move around for a minute or two if you um, don't leave it sitting perfectly flat. So I'm going to pop it on there because I really like it sitting like that as well. You could have it, just have it straight, but I like that sort of diamond effect. And I'll probably set something on top of that to gently hold that down in place just while it all settles there. But I have also cut out the little sentiment that I want to put in the centre here. And again, because I really love this pattern and didn't want to cover too much of it up, I've cut the wording making memories in the satin effect card, but I've backed it onto some vellum. So that, to me, that is a much lighter sort of finish to it. And I've just, just got to be very careful now that I only put glue on those little areas that are covered by the actual writing die and then pop that down. And there you are, that's it all finished. There's something very, very satisfying about finishing a memory book. So I've just added some flowers in here, doubled them up and embossed them with a little stylus and added some dream drops into the centre. And I think that's all it needs on the front. I didn't want to plaster it up too much. Um, keep it nice and elegant. And I've got my big bow here with the white, lovely white ribbon. So at the end of this video, you'll see lots of photographs, but I also have a second video, so I have in between the last clip and this clip, I have been away and I have made a second little book. It's a smaller size of the album and I've made this one. And if you go to my second video, you'll see everything that I have inside that one. And you'll also see how I made this beautiful big card and also how I used the frame die from that along with the Shopping the High Street uh, die set in there. And I made this beautiful little shaker element as well. So don't forget to check that one out too. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really, really love you to do that. And hit the notification bell, share it if you like, any way that you can to help promote my channel and help me along on my way. I would really, really appreciate that. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a little comment. I always love to hear from you. My affiliate links for everything that I've used will be down below in the description. And thanks to everybody who uses those. I do really appreciate that. And until next time, Happy crafting. Bye.